Well, um, I wanted to start off by talking about how this is not the first time that you've worked together in the vampire genre or, you know, um, doing a book to TV adaptation. Um, one thing that I personally really enjoyed about The Vampire Diaries was how different the show was from the books because it really gave it that element of unpredictability. Is that something that you are going for with Vampire Academy as well? It is to a degree. We are both very big fans of Vampire Academy, the book series by Rochelle Mead. Uh, we read them before we did Vampire Diaries. So we go way back with the material. And what I always appreciated about it was there is so much in these books to work with. There's so much story, so many incredible romantic relationships, friendships, um, the, the political intrigue and the royal court, all those things gives us everything we need. And so we had a lot of fun trying to be as true to the world that Rochelle had created and the characters that she had created, but not necessarily telling the story in the same way that she did from the beginning so that there would be a lot of surprises for the audience that might be really familiar with the books, but not leaving them saying, well, wait a minute, where's the thing that I love so much? It's all in there. It's just not necessarily all in there in the same way that you exactly would expect. Just exactly. You know, that actually that makes me curious how much of this world that you are hoping to explore. Like, do you have any plans? It may be a little early, but do you have any plans to include characters like Adrian or Sydney who are more predominantly featured in the spinoff series? We absolutely talk a lot about Adrian and Sydney, a lot. And we'll kind of leave it at there for now, but uh, come ask us that again when we're back for season two. <laughs> awesome. All right. And then... Rose is our protagonist. She has a lot of defining character traits in the books. Uh, she was actually probably my favorite character when I was reading them. But what aspects of her personality did you feel were most important to carry over to the show, Marguerite, if you would like to take this one? Oh, I just, she's so many things. I love Rose too. She's <laughs> so fierce. She's so, she knows herself so well. She's, I wish that I were as smart about myself as Rose is about her. She's very insightful about her own, uh, about what she wants, about what she considers to be uh, fair, about what she considers to be like, uh, how to be a good friend, you know, how she feels about Dimitri. All these things are really clear for her and she is willing to stand up every day for what she thinks and what she believes in. And she's funny as hell at the same time and yeah. she's spirited and she's glorious. So, I mean. I love I love in the books how she's constantly getting herself into trouble. Well, that too. Yeah. Constantly <laughs> messing up. And that's a hard line to dance with your female lead because yeah. you don't want that. You want them to remain, to, to have an integrity. You want them to be a rootable hero, but you want them to be real. And our road is constantly messing up too. She's constantly putting her foot in her mouth and, you know, saying or doing the thing or like speaking her mind in the place where it's not appropriate. Right, and I love that She's standing up her. for stuff. Yeah. Maybe not always in the right time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, there are a lot of friendships and romances in the books as well. Are there any that you're particularly excited to bring on screen or excited for fans to see? I mean, all of them. All but of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now there's that. Well, what we yeah. were able to do, um, I mean, look, first of all, Rose and Dimitri and Lisa and Christian, we knew like going in, you can't, you can't screw that up. You've got to get that right. And that was really important to us. Um, and so we really feel very excited about what audiences are going to get, going to get to see in those two relationships. But um, we also realized as we were reading the books that there was no, um, there was no actualized queer representation in the books. And so we got to build some really great queer relationships as well. Um, and we're really excited to be able to introduce that to the audience uh, and the fans of these books um, who may not be expecting that. Hey, now, I was very curious, what is the difference between the vampires in the Vampire Academy and then vampires like the Salvatore brothers? What um, <laughs> change are we gonna see here? Cause it, they look to be, Different. <laughs> yeah, they're, you know, honestly, the vampires in Vampire Academy are really interesting because the Maroi vampire, the sort of what we'll call the good vampires, uh, and, and, you know, depending on your perspective, they actually uh, fall outside a lot of the rules of what we know traditional vampires to be. They are, in fact, mortal beings. They can grow old and they can die. It just takes a lot longer than a normal human. Um, they uh, they drink blood, but they are not allowed to kill because if they killed when they were feeding, they would actually be turned into the Strigoi, who are much more uh, in line with the vampires of old lore. 
just you know violent violent and primal and all id and like just the need to feed driving their every move so we get to kind of have our cake and eat it too we get to have the dark scary terrifying monstrous vampire that i think really scratches the itch of somebody who who loves the genre but then we also get to have the sort of daintier you know more poised more prim um Elegance. The, the gentle, elegant vampire <laughs> yeah. that, you know, also often comes, you know, along with that whole idea of like the the gentleman vampire, right. the, the seductor, those kind of things. Yeah. So the seducer, the seducer. Yeah. yeah. So we get it. We get to have it all. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for your time today. I'm super excited about the series. I love the adaptation from the Vampire Diary. So I'm excited for Vampire Academy as well. 